my fellow Tarnished, and welcome, welcome, welcome to what I would say is the big sleeper hit of the last patch, which I know was a fair while ago now, but Black Flame Tornado is utterly ludicrous. It absolutely melts bosses and players alike in seconds and is, let's be honest, downright too easy to do. How does it actually work then? What changed to let it, well, destroy? It got a hitbox added to the twirly twirly above the heady part, which is of course the technical term that us proper Elden Ring build scientists use. Twirly twirly above the heady. So each little spin round hits everything in it, and it's not, well, insignificant damage, and each hit actually does put black flame on, which starts melting based on the total health as a percent, which on a big health boss is again not insignificant. And you can also choose to cancel and roll out after the spin instead of having to commit to the slam so you're a lot more mobile and much less easily punished. This is all combined to give it massive damage and utility. <laughs> Sadly, no, it doesn't get affected by stuff like Rotten's Winged each bit of damage, and even though it is a chargeable ability, it's not affected by Godfrey's Icon, but that just means we have two quite open utility talismans, but we'll get to that. First and foremost, as I imagine you might know, Black Flame Tornado is from the Godskin Duo, so the mandatory boss, unless you're speedrunning shenanigans Skippy, and you will likely more than not have it already. So, of course, the first thing to decide is what weapon it actually should go on. Well, you're looking for a big, long, pokey death stick that at least goes to a B in faith scaling when you put this Ash of War on as flame art. And my weapon of choice here is the Glaive. This is farmable from the skeletons around Elden Ring that wield it, and it is quite meaty. It's got some really good squishy swipe moveset, and it is very much a potent high AR weapon. I mean, once we're all buffed up and online, this is just sitting at over 1200, which is fantastic, but really the weapon it on isn't that much of a big deal, just choose whatever you think's good, it's not going to really make a huge difference outside of pure min-maxing. And stats wise, this is our spread. The reason Faith is pumped way past the 80 cap is this Ash of War has a damage multiplier based on just your raw Faith stat, so 99 times its multiplier, so in this case, while we're not scaling the weapon that much, we are indeed scaling the damage of the Ash of War, and Black Flame does indeed do fire damage, so we've got a lot to play with there. But before that, let me sell you a bit more on just how fun this is in PvP, where it really does shine as an excellent one versus many tool. So this is a kind of dire situation I have found myself in, but I will simply say, enjoy. Right? Is that not the most satisfying thing you've seen? That's just... <laughs> I wish I could have heard those two discussing after that happened. Namely, probably working out what the hell actually did happen to them. Oh, it's great. Because of the hitbox on the spinny now, if you get caught in it once, you're just going to get chained, staggered, and flinched until the big hit. And the big hit is massive and has multiple hit points, which means that just a single panic roll will not get you out of it. You have to really carefully and collectively know what you're doing to counter this. So, its raw damage then, as you've been seeing, is also really potent, and is increased even further by the Shard of Alexander which, from the end of his questline, which gives it an extra 15% damage, and we've got the Fire Scorpion for an extra 12% damage from the fort over in Mount Gelmir on a little wooden balcony. Then the other two talisman slots, I have gone for a bit of Dragon Crest to counter the Fire Scorpion and just make this a little bit more sturdy, and in reduced FP on skills, as this actually is a very very, very FP hungry weapon skill, so you're gonna want all of the help that you can get. We got a random seal on for cast in the buffs, and in the wondrous physic, again, plus 20% fire damage is great, but also we've got the near infinite poise for 10 seconds tier. This, of course, lets you just tank hits while spinning and slamming, and is key to absolutely just plowing through bosses while basically ignoring what they're doing to you. It really is wonderful. I don't know why this is tuned to hit so, so hard, perhaps because, you know, you're not gonna find many situations where you can just stand there, spin and slam, 
but as I just said, that wondrous physic really does kind of solve that problem. We have, of course, Golden Vow for an extra 15% damage. We have Flame Grant Me for an extra 20% fire damage and therefore more on the Ash of War. The physical damage doesn't hurt either, as with the Glaive and this setup, you are doing a hell of a lot of physical damage, an incredibly respectable amount. In fact, you don't need to just rely on the Ash of War. You can get by just fine on the actual uh, pokes that you have at your disposal as well, which is really, really nice. You can two-hand it. I mean, yeah, technically you could get Power Stancy on this as well, but that wasn't really the focus of today's little look how ridiculously good Black Flame Tornado is. Other than that, then, I mean, we're pretty much at the point where you've seen all you need to see. Absolutely destroyed Melania, absolutely destroys a Godfrey, destroys Radagon and the Elden Beast after it. It's an incredibly satisfying move to use that is probably a little bit too good thanks to the changes. But yes, PvP is very much where it shines, because of course you have got the weapon itself, which really does do respectable damage at respectable range and makes you very dangerous in that respect, but if you carefully time it and trade with the Ash of War with someone, they're now trapped into this constantly hitting fire tornado that is just going to kill them unless they are absolutely perfect at timing their rolls against you, and even then it's probably still going to get them. Seeing people get bounced up into the air as they take a billion damage is immensely satisfying and I for one am having an absolute blast using this, I mean, I guess build, but in reality here it is just, hey, don't sleep on a Black Flame Tornado. It's a lot better than you probably think it is in both boss killing and invasion settings. Jules, it's not quite as good because people tend to know what they're doing there just that little bit more, but it's certainly still worth giving a go because all it takes is catching someone once and then they are indeed very dead. In any case then, that is about it. That's all I got for you and I hope you have found it swell jaw-dropping. So I'm now gonna Black Flame Tornay go. <laughs> Please. <laughs> Please love me. And I will see you soon. Like if you enjoyed this, subscribe for more, hit the bell and subscribe so you don't miss more guides, tips, tricks, builds, and all of that good stuff. Consider supporting the future of the channel on Patreon down below. And until we meet again, a god Josh, Cotton, and Hollow with the videos Dropping the humor like a hammer on your tippy toes Bringing entertainment on a daily arrangement To take our insanity and turn it into entertainment Yes, I said entertainment twice To reiterate that it is nice To look into your faces on a mostly daily basis When you let us in your homes to make the whole world a stage Is, uh, goodbye